let's go back. Let's go back to your salvation point. When do you get saved? So it was the 24th of February, 2004. Okay. Wow. Good year, 2004. Doggies won the grand final. Yep. Oh, there okay. you go. What happened? <laughs> um, so I think that was a Tuesday. We had been in church as we always had been on the Sunday and we were attending Liberty Baptist at the time. The preacher preached and uh, the message, I don't remember all of the message, but I remember him talking about heaven and hell and how the personal choice that we make now determines where we'll go in eternity. That's what the Bible teaches he was saying. So anyway, I was thinking very seriously about it. I'd heard the gospel over and over in Sunday school. We had t- it was a good Bible-believing church. And um, I got home and thought about it for a day or two. And come Tuesday night, I said to mum and dad, I need to get saved. And so um, dad prayed with my brother and I. My brother got saved the same, same day. day. That's why I say, uh, I said at Johnny's wedding a couple of weeks ago now that we were joined at the hip. Every, <laughs> everything we <laughs> did, did everything as kids yeah. uh, was together. So, it, yeah, it was really nice that we can share the same spiritual anniversary, uh, spiritual birthday and, yeah. and a subsequent um, birthdays. So, yeah, it was a really good time. Praise the Lord for it. I know I was saved that day. You know, you have doubts along the way. The devil always comes along and tries to play with your mind and tell you that you're not a Christian, but we know that the Bible's pretty clear on on eternal security. And so, you know, every time the devil comes and tries to tell you otherwise, you just claim the promises of God. And, you know, our salvation is not based on our feelings, but upon God's promises. Yeah. So that's so encouraging. How old were you? Are you about nine? Uh, at the time, seven turning eight. Okay, so you're not that much older than me then. Mm. Okay, so... um. You get saved, you start going through the whole, I don't want to say the motions, but you go through the motions of being a Christian, growing up in a mm. Christian household, things like that. If you had to say that was the one of the biggest struggles of growing up in a Christian household, especially in your position where you're saved, but you're also like one of the faces of this kids program where churches are starting to, I mean, it's a lot of pressure for a for an eight-year-old. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like it's a, it's a lot there. What's one of the hardest things that you had to go through in regards to that in growing up in a Christian house? Mm. It's it's hard to say what the hardest thing was because mm. there's always challenges of wherever course. you go in life. Of course. But I think one of the challenges for me, it's not so much that I walked away from God, although there was a point um, in 2013, 2014 where I, where I was at a spiritual point that I probably shouldn't have been at. I could have been closer to God. But I think just learning to talk to unsaved people and actually listen to them. I uh-huh. I had been, you know, raised in a Christian family and praise the Lord for that. It, I'm really thankful for that. Went to, did homeschooling for a, for a lot of my years and then went to Christian school. So the environment is, you know, by Very. and large sheltered. Very sheltered, yeah. And, you know, I'm thankful for that. You don't want to be, you know, thrown in hey, the sewer, work. so to speak. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, mum and dad cared about us, so they were investing in, in us and in our education, so I'm thankful for that. But we didn't get, apart from, you know, a bit of community sport and, you know, making some friends down at the park, we didn't have that constant interaction with, you know, people f- with different perspectives. Of life. So, you yeah. know... When I came to uni, it, it was just was not, it? A, not a whole nother world, but literally you can't just turn to the person next to you and say, oh, you know, I was reading this in my Bible today. It's a different sort of... The natural yeah. man doesn't it's a different world. comprehend it's spiritual a different world. things. And that is, a, you know, I much prefer um, to be in church, you know, and around... Of you know, course. the things that's, of God. That's how we are as Christians. But you know, I think we need to also keep in mind that there's a lost world out there. Yeah. And if we live in our hermit kingdoms, they're never going to be reached. 